I recently increased our home internet speed to a tier that was uncapped for data. Coincidentally, this meant a jump to a maximum of 1 gigabit per second. My old modem, an Aris SB6190, was known to have problems at high speeds, so I picked up an Aris SB8200 we live pretty far into the country, and Wave is only supporting Doxis 3.0, so I wasn't expecting 1 gigabit per second. Maybe half of that speed, if we were lucky well, I was wrong. The speeds can be pretty quick. I've seen speed tests over 900 Mbps. I realize that websites throttle their output, and we don't see any real difference in web browsing, but sometimes a download, new software, OS update, is really fast I haven't had any problems. Works great with my wave cable service in the Seattle area my SNR is 36.5 dB, or better, for all channels. As much as I dislike cable 1, I do like this modem. No issues with it, we get maximum speeds, actually a little more, that we are paying for out of it, about 115 mbps down, 10 up, I think we pay for 100 stroke 5, we are hoping to get gigabit when we move in July, so I will update this when that happens to discuss performance, I think the white looks good, have this paired up with a google wifi puck, I bought this modem to use with comcast's 1 gigabit per second cable internet offering, it has worked flawlessly since the day I set it up. Peak speed reported by speed test was 949 megabits per second with 800 megabits per second being more typical I upgraded from an Aris SB6190. It also worked flawlessly. Highly recommended. I'm very tech savvy I didn't think there would be a substantial difference between my Netgear CM700 and the Aris lowest latency I've had, albeit. After upgrading the line feed cable and making the modem only on a 1 to 2 splitter that was key in speed and latency this can push 1 gigabit per second internet I don't doubt and it boots up fast I'm waiting on my router much longer. Consistently, confirmed comparability with Wi-Fi 6 and Spectrum 400 Mbps highly recommend incredible value.